and welcome to another mine. This is one of the more interesting ones in the uh, side of Washington State zone. I'm not going to tell you the name to spoil this one because uh, this, this mine's a doozy. But basically, from the late 1890s to the early 1920s, I believe, this was a very large silver lead zinc mine. And I mean very large. I think they produced, I don't remember how much they produced, but they produced a lot of ore. Because this had an incline shaft that went down, I think 800 feet. And then there were like four or five other mines all on the same mountain. So, this is one of three giant pits of some later work that they did in the 1940s. Literally just bulldozing the remains of the mine, thinking that they could get into further things. This is pointing in the direction that the incline shaft used to be, because right on the other side of this pit is an even deeper pit, probably about 200 feet deep, where they just, I think they had an excavator just uh, on the end of a crane just pull out ton after ton of ore. Just huge amounts of rock pulled out of this mine. And this is only a part of it, but we know there's no adit on this side here. There's supposed to be one or two adits on this mountain that might get underground still. That's what we're hoping for today. And there's a few remains and ruins and some pretty cool stuff to see. Yep, there's some ruins right up there. I think there's a diesel generator there. We've been to this site once before, but we're investigating it again because we missed a lot last time. But you can easily see right where they were just bulldozing everything and pulling ore out in just enormous quantities. They literally removed this side of the mountain in a few different spots, and it's pretty crazy. But we're going to walk around the side here now. And where we're going today, I think, is possibly something. There should be a road further down the hill, past the giant remains of an ore bin. I think it goes out on that way. I think so, yeah. But I do want to check out the giant hole again, so we're going to do that first. Right. If that's all right before going back yeah, down the mountain. Is that the one we climbed down last time? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't climb down it last sketchy. time. It's more than a little sketchy, but yeah. That's the one where I think they just had a giant crane lifting rocks and just everything out of the mine to remove. I don't know, whatever was here. It's really sad because this was a prehistoric mine for this area, especially with how much production it had. A lot of, a lot of waste. Oh yeah. A lot of waste. I believe it's mostly in limestone here. A lot of white in the rock. White and dark blue. But, uh, gotta get up this somehow. You can kind of see the remains of the building up there. We going up? Yep, gotta go up to go see the other hole. So we'll catch you in just a minute. And that little structure that I saw, showed you a minute ago actually turned out to be the outhouse, but what it was next to is a giant platform for what I think is a generator. Concrete or pad so now, the bolts. Yeah. Yeah, this concrete, this concrete pad was built something, built to hold something huge. And it was a decent sized building otherwise. It's definitely seen better days. Yeah, those two fuel things. Side. Yeah, those, that's one thing, it was a big diesel generator or something. Or a generator, or I don't know. A lot of things it could have been, but it was right here, and then it looks like there's electrical cord right there ish. But there's a small pit here, and then another one way beyond that's the big one. I just wanted to check all this stuff out here first, though. I don't think there's anything that way. Just an old building. So, I 
headed right up this way. It's going to be a rough day for me because I'm carrying like 30, 40 pounds worth of gear. It feels like well, I'm at 20, but <laughs> you can kind of see the big pit already. It is something special. Yep. This smaller one might have been where the start of the uh, incline was. But, uh, oh, she's it. This one might have been where the start of the incline was. But, definitely went down that way. So we'll check that real fast. And, ooh, my fear of heights kicks in a little bit here. Yep, ah, oh, it's a thorn. Yeah, we came down the other side. Not this side, yeah. But, uh, this is where the incline shaft for the mine was supposed to be. Going down in the mountain, I think, that way-ish. And, it's just... An enormous hole. It's probably 200 feet deep. I don't know if you could hear it, but that rock just stopped rolling. That's enormous how deep it is. But it's actually pretty cool right here because that red you can kind of see on your screen, that is mostly limonite, which is a pseudomorph of iron, and at this mine specifically, huge amounts of silver lead ore were found right alongside it, so considering this even comes up to the surface, this is probably where they found the first outcropping of the ore seam. That is just an enormous pit. Really quite something. But we did come back to see a little bit of this and then see if we can find some other things that might hold promising. So we're gonna investigate, get down the hill and see what we can find. What do you have to say? Big pit. Very. Big pit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll keep walking. So just above me there is the road that leads down to an edit that we're going to be checking out. And we are like maybe 100, 150 feet down the mountain from those main pits. What a mosquito showing up now. But uh, we've just come down to see an enormous set of structures here. And Dad walked off that direction. What's over there? Huh? Anything over there? It's a barrel. Buried barrel. on the ground a couple feet. Okay. With what appear to be control valves for these pipes. Okay. Or well, is it like a giant metal barrel? Yeah, like a so. Yeah, big metal barrel. Okay. So that might have actually been what's called an accumulator, which is uh, they compress air outside the mine and pump it into the mine. Those accumulators store the pressurized air for the drills. Oh. Well, that barrel was just an empty, you know, like. An oh, oil, oil barrel. Oh, okay. With I a missing was... top. Okay. And then with two pipes coming up with like a control valve almost kind of thing. So it could have just been so oil. You could control yeah. the flow here, which was obviously coming into the something here. Right? Yeah. I see what might be sluices and stuff down there, which is odd because this was a silver ore or silver lead mine. There's not a lot of water up here. No, there is not. They did have to barrel it and use the tram system to get the uh, water up here, so. I do wonder what's down here. We're gonna start down in a second. Lots but, uh, of stuff. Yeah. I just need to drink water first. No, I'll be ready. Let's be just a second. Huh. Alright, we're climbing down the hill now. We're wondering if there might be an edit at the bottom of this. This is certainly a huge structure. It's like two or three stories here. Yeah, there's some big big bees in there. Yeah. So Walking along. Oh. 
I don't know. From the records, they m didn't seem to have a mill on site, but the way this is going down the hill makes me think mill. Sorts of stuff. Yeah, this is a huge structure, whatever it was. It certainly was something big. Yeah. Like a big organ. Now I'll step on the nails. Yeah, that looks like an ore chute. There. Oh, I felt a raindrop. Darn it. Anything? It's hard to tell what this was. Yeah. Like, and that's holding back. Yeah. Cool. This wood is not good anymore. So I am thinking this is maybe a mill. Because that looks like screening mm -hmm. there. Like stuff. Yeah. And this is all milled timber, so this is probably not original exploration workings. Yeah, there's a, a grizzly up there. A what? So, <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't just say that. So a grizzly is what they uh, basically dump an ore cart over. Uh -huh. And it's a bunch of bars that determine uh, oh. uh, whether large chunks of rock can go through or not. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they made it up there just out of I-beams or something. Really thin I-beams. That looks like a gloom almost. Yeah, it does. Which was probably an ore chute or something, really. Because yeah. I saw what looked like an ore chute uh, gate assembly back behind me. So... I'm thinking this was a small mill that they used to process ore on site, which is interesting. I've never seen, I've just never seen reports of anything like that, so. Never seen reports of one around here, or seen pictures of an ore bin, which I think is just below us. This is a, an enormous structure. Yeah, probably not. Stuff below me is giving way. This is a really giant structure here, though. No, at it, though it no. Unless it was under that. Which it very well could be, <clears throat> considering just how much rock is here. There's just no waste material here. No. Well, there's some down beneath us, but... Right, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here. So if there wasn't at it... Either this was just a haulage that they just dug right into the mountain, or... I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get off this. It just keeps giving way on me. So, we'll see you down there in just a moment. Crazy sight. Yeah, it's, it just seems like a sluice. It's just a hole really fine. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously, it seems like it's filtering off water. Yeah, it is, I think. And then directing it. It looks like it continues on just down here. There's like a belt or something. Yeah, there's like these... Like a cloth belt? Like a flume line. A flume line with a sort of a belt material. Like a conveyor belt. Oh, here's an ore bin. That's in a little better shape, but I think that was an ore bin. It was, yeah. And there's more of the iron stuff, so I think that that wasn't at it. And I think that was the rail came out.
they, it looks like they took the rail, but. But that huge structure was for an adit? I think so. I think Jeez. that was the exit of an adit. Uh, that might even be like the incline structure. Which would be really interesting. Mm. All right, so we've come down below that structure. There is a giant orb in, almost in line with the very bottom of it. Actually, I should bring you guys back up to show you. Because they definitely dumped a lot of waste rock out here. So we think, uh, now especially, that this is probably the exit to an adit, very likely coming off the uh, inclined shaft inside the mine. And considering the size of this ore bin, and the amount of waste rock out here, they were doing a lot. See that metal structure right there? On the side of the Yeah, on the side of it, yeah. I think it's a tank or something. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But they did all sorts of things out here. It's kind of crazy. It's almost like that had a roof. It does seem like that, doesn't it? There's a giant spiderweb crossing that opening right there. I can see. But uh, it's like there is a road down below it. Which is interesting because it's not on any of my maps. And it's coming out of what looks like an adit underneath a huge building. Like an enormous building. Two to three stories tall, it's just... Huh. I wish I knew what was going on here. You gonna check that out? Yeah, we can in just a minute here. I, w I just want to walk to the end of this and Wait. see what's up on this. You can start walking down there if you want. Right. So he's going to check out what's at the bottom of that orb in. I'll take you guys this way real quick. Just right on these trees. These huge chunks of rock hard limonite. Just enormous stuff. There's a little washout right here where they uh, might have dug something out because I'm not seeing anything in the woods. Interesting. Oh, that looks kind of like a washout. It looks like it ends right over here. Right above another flat spot. Giant flat area. Looks like there's timbers and stuff down there. Huh. Yeah, this is the end of it here. So this has to be a waste rock pile. Coming out of that mine. It has to be. It's so long. I think I've walked. Oh, easily two to three hundred feet. I'm gonna walk right on back and uh, see if I can find my dad down at the bottom of that orbin. There's no pictures of stuff, huh? Not this one, no. So we're down at the bottom of this orbin. It's definitely an orbin. There's a couple small shoots there. There's definitely a, a tank here for water or something. Right at the bottom, looks like a little flume down to it or something. Probably to recollect it. So they definitely had water problems up here in that it was just too dry inside the mine to supply any water. And the creeks are like 2,000 feet down the hillside, so. Really? Yeah, it is. Took a lot of good work to build that, but. Not a whole lot else down here. Looks like there's a couple of really Yeah. Like below right here. I th like an yeah, I think this is kind of the uh, lowest extent of the actual mines. Uh, yeah. There's another one there. So where are you thinking that added is? Oh, we gotta go back up to get to that road. To get to it. Oh. Yeah. Where are we going here? I think we'll probably just head back up the hill. I think this is probably the end of the I think this is the lowest processing. extent of the mines, yeah. Like, they probably drove the ore out of here mm -hmm. to get it where it needed to go. Seems like a big road. 
<clears throat> good place to turn around. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, big trucks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because especially the later years, this was when trucks were starting to be very popular for this sort of thing. Instead of trains and tram systems. So. Mm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. I'm guessing it's probably just come right up here and then in here. Yeah. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, we're going to head up the hill then and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully before it gets too hot. Yeah, we're a good ways down the road now. A very good ways down the road to, or just past the uh, edit we saw a little bit ago. It's supposed to be an edit down this side of the mountain. That apparently cuts way in a like good three quarters of a mile to a mile into the side of the hill to connect into the incline. There's definitely something right here at least. Huh. Well this one is uh that one's a collapse. Is that it? I don't think so. Okay. I hope not anyway. <laughs> there are so many gnats. Flying around us right now. We could dig that out. We could, yes. That could. A bit of an of course. Yeah. It's mostly just roots and stuff that's left in. Yep. I'm gonna see if we can climb in from the top. I wouldn't probably try it. It looks like a really tiny opening. It looks like we can get in from the top. Or maybe squeeze in through there. From the top, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, foot just fell a good six inches in. Uh, no, you can't squeeze in that. You can squeeze in probably on that side there, but not from up here. Yeah. I don't think this is the one that I was thinking of now. No, no, we don't have to climb off the road. Yeah, so there should be one more. Because there's a super obvious waste rock pile, and this one doesn't have an obvious waste rock pile. Oh, I got nothing. So. Except gnats. Yeah, nothing but gnats, dust, and flies. At least there's supposed to be an obvious waste rock pile for all this. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Thank you. Yeah, that's what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, this looks more like a waste rock pile here. Go oh, away, mosquito. Oh, there's concrete structures and everything right here. I think I hear running water. That's the entrance. Holy cow, these gnats. They literally just keep flying right into my eye. Oh yeah, there's the edit, it's open. At least a little bit. Oh, mama. Yeah. God, these gnats. But anyway, here's the view over the waste truck pile. It is a beautiful day. Lots of cool mountain in the distance here. There's a structure right there. Uh, there was a structure right there, yeah. Didn't even see that. It's just right down the hill. That looks like uh, a bunch of pipes and stuff. So probably like a compressor house. This is a big waste pile. Yeah, this is a big waste pile. I told you, it was, it's going to be a long tunnel, I think. If this is If this is the right tunnel. So to get around here real quick. I don't know what this ditch was for. God, 
these gnats are just flying into my ears and everything, man. Go away. So, I'm gonna get across and see what I can see. Pipe right there. Oh, this is like a boiler right here. Okay. Okay, apparently there's rail behind us here. Probably coming out of the attic. Oh yeah, it's open. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's rail coming down all right. Ooh, it stinks. It's not six feet of water, is there? I can't tell, but I don't think so. Want to pull a flashlight out? Because these gnats are getting bad. Open, but it collapses a little bit inside. Go in and see. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at this. <laughs> just take a quick look at it right now. Mm -hmm. these <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take my backpack and everything off. Okay. Yeah. We'll catch you in just a second inside. All right. Well, we're in the attic, trying to escape from gnats, so I'm not wearing my big headlamp or anything. This is a solid attic. I gotta put my headlamp on, man. Oh, there's a frog over here. Frog? Yeah. A little froggy. Probably doesn't like when I'm shining him on it. I'm gonna put my headlamp on. Alright. Then we can continue. Alright, we're back in the mine now. After getting our helmets on and lights on the helmets. No, we won't be in here too long, I don't think. There's a big mouse. There is? Yep. Oh, big old mouse up here, apparently. Oh yeah, he was bringing in fresh greens. There's a whole bunch of greens in here. And this ground is not very good. No. The less it echoes, the less good it is. And also the more timbers they... Holy cow. That's a lot of timbers they put in here. Yeah. Your back is covered in sweat. There's this nest right there. Oh, this wood is rotten. Yeah. Better to go under some plots, some fresh greens right there. Yeah. He was building up his nest. Come back down. Right on his nest. Don't ruin it, man. Hmm? Don't ruin his nest. I didn't. How far do you think it goes on? Oh wow, that's a big collapse right here. This ground's not very good. No more echo? Nope, no more echo at all. I can see the rails again. Okay. So the, pro the ground will probably get better here in just a second. I'm going to yeah, scramble across this and... Uh, I'm going to scribble across this and we'll catch you again here. All right. We're now just past that series of collapses and all the timbers involved there. We're going to be continuing on here. This wood just gives way up to the feet. 
which makes sense if it's been here for over 100 years. So I think this is one of the original tunnels that they did at this mine. Okay, there's the echo again. Yeah. Whenever the limonite's present in the rock, there's just no echo at all. All right. You can see where the sleepers used to be. There's a little bit of water dripping. Dad, turn around. See where the sleepers used to be? The sleepers is what they call the ties. Why don't you just say the ties? Yeah, good. Ooh, there's big bats. Big bats. Oh, where? Is that a bat? No, that's no, a, a giant piece of wood holding up electrical wire. Back there, like a bat. Yeah. Like a Yes, it makes sense. Oh, it feels so good here. Yeah, it does compared to the 90 degrees outside. It goes on, man. I'm just hoping it continues to stay good ground because. No, I don't have boots. My last boots disintegrated, and I just haven't gotten any new ones yet. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they went up to the here. Oh, they did? Uh, 10 feet, 15 feet. Oh, I didn't even notice. And they braced it. Oh, yeah, they did go up that. So they were planning on going further, it looks like. Interesting. Slow down, I know. I'm just I'm excited. Can't help it. Don't hit too much, please. I know. Just with the ground already being that bad back there. And it being even worse possibly further on. This is a really cool line here. Track dipped off this way a little bit. Oh, there's two drifts here. Dad, don't do that in here, please. Sheesh. So there's two lines here. The rails turn that way too. Yeah, except with the way the wood's placed in here. This one doesn't look too good going for. Neither really do. The other one does continue on beyond the wood, but not very far, it looks like. So. This one? Uh, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay, you want to oh my god, it stinks over here, Dad. Why, why? I don't know. Just keep walking. <laughs> I can get out of it for a minute. You can go first. Thank you. You got a few more in you? Yeah. We gotta come back this way. Oh, this is just a trash way. Where's the jeans? I don't know, but these are carbide barrels. Oh wow, the ground is not getting confidence inducing here. Looks like it keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. So there's some carbide graffiti here. Chasing somebody. CVJ. What's that mean? I don't know. CVJ wrote there, probably. I don't want something here. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we might just be entering a maze of a sort. Oh, oh wow. Ground's soft right there. Yeah, it's soft all over here. Oh, wow. All the graffiti. The miners' graffiti. This is them signing all their names from the original miners. That is awesome. So that's pretty rare even around here. So, looks like it stops up ahead. Oh, careful in this, this looks like it's mostly just boulders kind of stuck together by the rock. Yeah, it stops up ahead here. But I don't know if it goes up. No, it doesn't. It just kind of stops here. Sure doesn't turn. Left no. Left uh, it looks like it might turn right for a small pocket. It looks like they found the ore or a small amount of it. I'm just concerned because that limonite is easy to break through. There's another rat nest. 
It's pretty deep for a rat nest. Found that, whatever it is. Yeah. Then the mine just ends there, otherwise. Huh. They were probably going to drill into the ore here. Start blasting. Oh, turn down again. On. Yeah, so. Why oh, didn't Probably did. It doesn't look like it continued. It looks like this is probably just a little shoot ore. You Mine. Some pictures? What's that? You going to take some pictures? Yeah, a couple pictures. I'm just looking at it here first. So, yeah, this is just a little shoot of ore. It's barely two feet thick. Some of the ore in this mine was 75 feet thick. So this is almost nothing for them. So. There's little bits of silver inside it though. I do see that. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, I'm gonna take a few pictures and we'll head back to that other tunnel. Okay. Sounds good. And that's the drift we just went down. We're gonna go ahead and walk this way now. The old man's picking at the wall a little bit. Mm. Getting the very good looking stuff here. Looks like there's quartz beads in there or something. Yeah. Nothing really exciting. Not in this section, no. There's little bits of limonite picking out of the walls. Yeah. But <laughs> you can just see. I think the Sweat on your back starting to crystallize and turn nice. Did you want to go first? Uh, hang on. Ooh, what the heck is that? That's a really old bottle. Really old bottle. Look at that fungus. It's a cool fungus. Really cool fungus. Yeah, that limonite. Yeah, it's just—it's basically dirt. sand. Yeah. Oh, careful, please! I can hear that stuff going underneath you. Oh, you farted again. Nope. Oh, just nope. smell like it. Probably a bit. Oh, there's rotten wood underneath where I stepped. Oh, wow, look at that. That is. This is like a obstacle course here. Yeah. Maybe it's down here and you can shine your fancy bright light. See if it's worth going any further. Yeah, it goes on further. All right, I'll be over there in just a second. Just trying to walk easier on all this. This is this is rough ground. I don't want to hold on to it. Also, like subconsciously need to hold on to the rock. sir. Alright, you want to wait for me to turn my light on? Yeah. But this is interesting. Oh, that's called a vug. It's a pocket of crystals. We'll get over there in just a second to see that. Alright, got the big light on. Oh, it just gets worse. I don't think I want to continue in this. Yeah, it looks like there is another drift there. Yeah. Especially if you like this thing. Oh yeah. So I did see some stuff similar to that. Oh my god, my foot just seemed like a foot in that. Oh, that's awesome. Turn the up there. It's really hard. 
hard to see this without the screen popped out. A bug, huh? Yeah. A lot of old mining terms from like Cornwall and stuff. That looks like a bug to me, where it's a an air bubble that appeared in likely the magma that came up here, mm -hmm. or the uh, incredibly mineral rich water, and uh, it just the air bubble stuck around, and then crystals started forming. That is awesome. Though. There's definitely crystals in that. I don't want to dig it out. No. The whole wall looks like it can come down. Yeah. It's got a huge crack, like the whole. The whole thing is just, it's just mud here. This ground is rough. That whole wall could come down. Easily. Yes, so. What's it look like? Goes to the left. It goes to the left, all right. Does the left look good? No. The rails do continue that way though. Do you want to flash your big one? Yeah, give me just a sec. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to come down where you are. Right. Oh my gosh, the rock that I put my weight on started to crumble. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it keeps going that way, but I'm kind of scrambled out. Well, we could go all the way to there and see you. Well, let's we can go this way first. Uh, well, let's look at it stops, but I'm willing to walk down it at least. Looks like it had rail. Yeah, they had rail at one point. They were exploring it, for sure. See. Sleepers. Yeah. Man, this is just insanity. Holy cow. stuff it's just dirt so yeah it's just more yeah this is good ground for the most part until they reach more limonite It just crumbles so easily. Chasing subs out there, see mine? Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of nails in these ones, so I'm kind of cautious here. Ooh, okay. More miners graffiti. Something about a cow. And a oh, there's a house. There's a house. For the old drone one. Uh oh. My flash my headlamps run out of battery. I thought I charged it up fully, but I guess I'm using it on the highest setting. You got other ones. I got other flashlights, yes, but not headlamp batteries. Not right now. There's a boot. Yeah. Holy cow, that is a miner's boot. Yeah, my headlamp's going out. Holy cow, it's dark in here. Hold on, hold on. There's another, there's that way and this way. Jeez, all right. This way looks like it might end. Well, I'm gonna film this miner's book first. Look at that. That is in very good shape for being here for well over 100 years, I'd say. So you only have another headlamp? No. I don't have another headlamp battery either. I thought I fully charged it up. It was sitting on the charger for like six hours. Day before we left. Yeah, that one goes down a long ways. And there's more miners graffiti. 39, it says. So 1939, maybe. Interesting. Oh, here's, yeah, here's some dots indicating how many loads of ore they carried out of the mine. That's what those indicate. 
So they pulled a lot of war out of this, apparently. Which is interesting. It's a little soft up there, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm not going to look up that. You go ahead and oh, take a peek. About 20 feet. 20 feet, okay. Yeah, it's all sand coming down. Yeah. Yeah, the ground's not as good here again. It's still kind of. It's the end. Oh, but here's. More graffiti all over there. Here's BUI. Oh. Yeah. And another thing on the ground there. CB is next to you on DL, looks like. Oh, well, there's a very nice message there. What did you say? Look at that one on the side there. Fork. Yeah. Can't read what a whole lot of this says. CJ39, question mark. Yeah, and then JK. And, yeah, I don't know what... Back something on. And then there's another two here, another 1939, and JKJ. Right here. Oh, on I think that's I think that's some of the ore they're going after right there. Well, they left it. it is shiny. Well they didn't leave very much if they left it here. It probably didn't pan out very much. Let's see if you can find any of that. Mm -hmm. It's just quartz, looks like. That could be fungus or staining or something up there. Mm -hmm. Let's leave the miners' graffiti here because that's pretty historic, even if it is from '39. That might be like a blasting cap tin, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pictures, and we can check out that other small drift that was off the other way. We just finished off that direction, and we have come from that way. So now we're going to check out the way that CVC looks like, denoted in 1939. It's a little bit bigger of a drift here. And the ground is concerningly quiet again. Oh, there's the echo. One more time. Looks like it might end up here. Probably, but I still want to see it. All right. Oh, there's sulfur and stuff coming out of the rock here. Very cool. A lot of quartz crystals in that, too. Very neat. And a cool oil can, looks like. More rock to hit at. There's no miner's graffiti. Yep, there's a few bits of miner's graffiti here. Just a few dots on the wall, but still. Pretty cool stuff, all things considered. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just bits of wood. CVC 1939, another one. What's going on there is at the end? Oh, she wrote. Yeah, 134 it looks like it says. Yep. Yep, me too. So, yeah, just 134 it looks like it says there. So, maybe how long this one is. Those yeah. Some others. Yeah. Some weird yellow. Sulfur peeking up probably through everything. Yeah, interesting.
I guess it's a piece of miner's graffiti, but I don't know what it is. I drilled it. You saw that? I drilled it on the ground? Oh, yeah. I was too busy looking up. This is right next to that other bit of miner's graffiti I think I saw. There's a good drill bit. Good chunk of drill, drill steel. Let's, let's see if it's newer type. It is. So that's 30s and 40s drill. Yeah, yeah so it definitely corroborates the 1939 date. We've seen it a few mm -hmm. of these drifts here. So. Cool. It's nice and cool. Yeah, it feels good in here. It's 90 plus degrees outside and it's hot. So, this is vastly preferable to that. Nothing up here. Just loose dirt and ground. Oh yeah, 15 says there, and there's a 2. So there might have been... There's a 1 right there. Yeah. So, yeah. Then there's the miner's boot. It's really cool to see that fully intact. We saw that at the other mine. Fully and partially intact. Oh yeah. It's fully intact in terms of not having decayed. Like at that other mine we went to. Yeah. There's more limonite up through there. Crazy amount of stuff. Crazy. All right, let's make our way back to the main tunnel here. Not seeing any other minor graffiti. So, considering that we're going to stop here, due to how bad the tunnel's getting, uh, this will probably be the end of things. And then on a high note, look at this. Ore body there, man, look at that. That's really cool to see. I don't know if that's silver in there, or just even denser in iron, but that's really cool to see. So, we're going to head on out from here and... Uh, I think this will be the end of this mine adventure, at least on video. So thanks for joining us.